Hi, it's Marina the Soul Alchemist. It's time for Pick Your Own Card weekly guidance for the 19th through to the 25th of September. So if you've not had a chance to pick a card, then I'd like you to tune into card one, two or three. And I'm going to reveal the messages, themes and energies that will support you over the next seven days. Now stick around for the bonus card. This week is going to be money and wealth. And I'll reveal that bonus message at the end of these three cards so if you pick card one and i would also say that all three cards will generally resonate on some level so do listen to all the messages as well so specifically for card one we've got the lookout this is a card that doesn't come up that very you know very much and it's a major card and you can see that we've got this uh, captain of the ship that's desperately looking around to see his way out maybe kind of work out how he's going to get off the ship, trying to kind of see his way th probably through all of the flames and the smoke that's coming from this uh, boat that is burning. And so there's this sense of panic. There's a sense of fear that's obviously held within this card. And this really is a message about letting things burn away, allowing things to be released and so there might be a, a little bit of a panic around and uh, you know letting go of a certain friendship or stepping out of a relationship or wanting to change jobs and looking at that in a kind of in a much more serious way maybe it's something that you are doing in terms of within your business letting go of a particular client or group or even a habit that you have going on there's this aspect of fear and not wanting to let it go because it gives you a sense of safety. It gives you perhaps that sense of routine. It's the norm. But this, this is going to burn away and eventually fall away anyway. So this card is saying, do it with grace, do it with reverence and do it with surrender. So come to terms with the fact that this is not serving you and it is time to let it go. Because if you don't and you hang on to it for grim death, it's going to fall away anyway, but you might have prolonged the process for that much longer. And, you know, obviously we don't want to let go of something because we don't we don't know what comes beyond it. We we don't have the answers. We feel confused. We feel blocked. We can't see beyond that. But you're not supposed to. The idea is that you let this go and you trust and you have faith that what comes behind it is going to be of your highest good it's going to be for your benefit it's going to allow new connections to come in uh, perhaps new money flow it's going to allow you to feel more healthy whatever it relates to for you and you'll know what this is the thing that you are resisting the most because you fear what's on the other side that's the thing that needs to be looked at and just know that you won't have the answers you will still feel confused but the clarity will come once you've started to release that and surrender to the process so don't fight it surrender that's what this card is asking for if you want to go deeper and try and understand that in a bigger way then please do reach out for me for an empowerment tarot perhaps a business or a uh, money tarot session i'd love to support you it's a 60 minute it includes a cash record healing because we do all of this connected to your cash record so i get that information that guidance from that point and we activate the healing so it allows that three months forecast to be as smooth as possible also don't forget to listen out for the bonus card which is money and wealth so if you pick card two it's the willow standing in your power being flexible being in motion to whatever comes up this week, perhaps what frustrations and challenges and delays, there might not be any, but if it feels like it, you know, if there's going to be any turbulence and this card is saying, be the willow, be flexible, don't be rigid because there's a likelihood that you're going to fall over and snap. The willow doesn't, it flexes, it flows, it allows whatever the weather is to just kind of move around it and it does its own thing. It kind of... It holds itself in such a way that it does it doesn't break. It just it just sways and it moves with whatever comes its way, and it stands within its power. That's how it holds its power because of its flexibility. So your ability to change, your ability to compromise, your ability to see things from other perspectives or the viewpoints is going to be 
very prevalent this week. Also, any other people's dramas or things that are going on this week, just allow them to flow beside you. You don't need to get involved. You can see that the willow is on the bank. That's where it's rooted. That's where it feels strong. You don't need to be swept away with, you know, the, as I say, whatever drama or chaos is going on around you, what people are bringing to your door. Don't worry about it. Just stand in your power, stand in your truth. Maybe, you know, set the boundary with people that are bringing drama to you that it, it you know, it's not something that you want and you don't desire it. So unless the other person knows, then they're perhaps going to keep that you know, keep that coming. So this is about you standing in your power and saying, no, this is uh, not right for me. Being in flow, being flexible, standing in your power, don't go into other people's drama. That's the message with the willow. So be be the willow this week and stand in your power. Really connecting with the solar plexus this week. Don't forget, we've got the bonus card of money and wealth. So do stay tuned for that. And if you want to go deep with your own, tarot session empowerment tarot for three months the money tarot or the business tarot to understand what's coming up also to do some akashic record healing because we're connected in with your records through that session then please do reach out i would love to support you if you've picked card three we've still got this water theme that's coming up and it's new chapters it's new beginnings it's new starts and this is a roses. So this is connected with relationships. So it could be friendships. It could be family. It could be people that are really close to you, your partners. Also, the, the most important and deep connection is the one with yourself. So going on a journey, going somewhere perhaps you've never been, a new adventure, a new pathway. And the, the kind of the message with this card is to really let go of the harbour and allow yourself to take risks, allow yourself to go and be uncomfortable with the unknown, going out into the uncharted waters, down, uh, kind of heading towards the sunrise, or maybe it's the sunset, but it's, it's new, it's new waters, it's, it's a location it's traveling to somewhere that you've never been and that's what this card is inviting you to do now if you stay in the safety of the harbor doing the same old things same old routines then nothing changes you don't go on the journey the journey stays stuck the journey doesn't happen so for you to have this journey and go somewhere new and get new results it requires for you to take risks it requires you to go on the adventure and that's how i would perceive it as an adventure so let me know how that card resonates. Also, don't forget to hang around for the bonus card, which is about money and wealth. And also, if you want to go deeper with your own session, Empowerment Tarot, please do reach out. All money or business, eight cards, 60 minutes, getting into the, the nuts and bolts of what's going up and coming up in the next three months. And you will also receive a cash it record healing that will support you with making those moves and that progress forward. So money and wealth. Interesting card, actually, the King of Forces. So the King of Forces, you know, he's, he's kind of, he's, he's much more into his like spiritual. He's not kind of, you know, a, a, a king or an energy, um, an archetype that is really, I suppose, really into money and wealth. He gets his, uh, he gets his wealth, probably, you know, not from coins or notes. He gets it from being in nature, from connection, from his spiritual support team, connecting in with the universe, um, knowledge and wisdom. The king of forces is somebody that's gentle and does have that deep connection with animals and with the environment. So how does that relate to money and wealth? Well, you can see that all of these animals are around the king here. So there's a natural there's a natural affinity and connection that you can have with your colleagues, with people that you um, hang out with this week, whether it be family, friends, clients. So we've got this natural ability to connect and invite the energy of money in. But we do it in a way where we're not really going after it. So it's almost like it's a byproduct of things that light us up having those deep, meaningful connections with people around us, our spiritual support team, getting out in nature, connecting with the earth. 
But making that your primary focus this week will invite the energy of money opportunity to you. So you might not see that hard cash comes in, but there might be an opportunity to the doors because you're doing it through connection. And then somebody puts you on to somebody else or recommends you or have you seen this? Have you considered applying for this job? So there's an opportunity for money to come to you in lots of different ways. You can see that we've got this stream. So again, we've got this flow of water. So we've got the flow of money coming in, but it's not the primary focus. The king is looking into the future, but he's not looking down at the, he's not looking down at the river, the river of money that's there. He's he's got his uh he's got his eyes and sights on other things, things that are perhaps interesting him, the direction that he wants to go in. He's got his He's got the animals around him that are supporting him, that he's connected to. The, this lights him up. So doing things that light you up, things that nurture and nourish you, having those deep, meaningful connections, connecting with your spiritual support team, doing spiritual practices, getting out in nature, just switching off. That's how you attract money and wealth to you. Now, wealth isn't just about money. It's about health. It's about uh, doing those activities that just bring us pure joy. That is wealth as well. So doing those types of activities this week, again, is going to help you to bring in the energy of money and wealth. Having gratitude for what you have also brings in that energy of wealth and feeling abundant and prosperous. So it's a kind of a, almost like a, indirect approach to having money and wealth come to you this week don't focus on the money and the wealth focus on your connections things that make you feel good getting out in nature connecting with your spiritual support team doing meditation moving the body that's how you bring in your money and wealth this week so let me know how that resonates i would love to know Again, if you want to reach out to me, have your own one-to-one -one session, we can cover the topics of the next three months where I can help to empower you to step into change. We can have the topic of money and we can also have the topic of business. So anything that you want to kind of tackle with those, uh, those particular themes for the rest of 2022, because that's what we'll be looking at. Uh, and also receiving a Kashic Record healing to, to clear out those blocks that are not supporting you, please do reach out and we'll get you booked in. Okay. If not, let me know how you get on in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And I'll see you in seven days. Love and blessings. Bye.